Ireland was the Catholic country hit hardest by the abuse scandal with some 13,000 known victims. The finger of blame has been pointed not only at the offending priests, but at the church hierarchy who knew about them and protected the perpetrators at the expense of the victims all the way up to Benedict. In his letter, Benedict admitted that the cause of the problem was a tendency to, quote, a misplaced concern for the church and avoidance of scandal. In 2001, when he was still Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, he instructed bishops to report abuse cases to the Vatican in strict secrecy and not to inform civil authorities. In his pastoral letter, Pope Benedict said offending priests brought shame and dishonor to the church and must answer for their sinful and criminal acts before God and before properly constituted tribunals, an apparent reference to civil courts. Victims of abuse characterize the Vatican's handling of a crisis that has assumed global proportions as denial and deceit, and it will take more than a pastoral letter to repair the damage. In an apparent reference to the need for reform at all levels, the Pope said many factors had contributed to the problem, including insufficient moral and spiritual formation in seminaries. With the scandal continuing to spread at an accelerating rate throughout Europe and indeed across other parts of the world, it may be that the Pope has to sincerely apologize not only to the victims of abuse, but to the faithful in general. And he may even have to go so far as to remove some of his bishops. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, London.